everyone welcome back to my channel I thought today I'd do play with some of the makeup that I did in my last haul um, plus a few other things of course but I'm gonna play with the Tartlet and Bloom palette and the hard candy foundation so let's get started I'm gonna start out with my foundation because I'm using a pretty neutral palette and there hopefully won't be any fallout. Wow. <laughs> the doe foot on this thing. Wow. It's huge. <laughs> hopefully this color matches me. If you're a makeup lover, you know that buying makeup online is a challenge to say the least. I'm just starting out with a little bit to see how far it'll go. And I've got quite a few breakouts going on. So we'll see how full coverage it actually is. good match for me luckily normally I do not choose the right colors and by the way this foundation stinks it smells like paint thinner <laughs> I just did a scrub on my face earlier and it is still quite red from that. My skin has been in really bad shape. Yeah, I don't know how often I'll be able to use this foundation because it really stinks. <laughs> oh, well. That's really strange because the reviews that I've watched on it don't mention that. It dries really quick. That's the best I'll have to do right now. Let's move on. I am also going to try, on top of this, the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I'm just using my favorite brushes that I have bought on Amazon. It's a decent brush. It's a really nice powder. It's very finely milled. Ignore the patchiness. It's my skin. <laughs> it is in bad shape. I like that powder. That is definitely a winner. Okay, let's play with some eyeshadow. Since this is a neutral palette, of course, you can either go very natural or there's some colors that you could deepen things up. Starting out with Jet Setter. 
And of course, I just realized I forgot to do my brows. Oops. Oh well. That is a really nice, really nice color. Quite a bit of fallout, but most eyeshadows do. I like that a lot. Let's go in with a shimmer. I am gonna do the one called Funny Girl. pretty and of course you can make it more uh, what's the word I'm looking for you can dampen the brush with a setting spray and make it really pop is so pretty though. Wow. I'm so glad that I finally got my hands on this palette. That is nice. I've wanted to try Tarte eyeshadows for years. Sorry if you can hear any little jingle in the background, that's Lily giving herself a bath. The collar's making noise. <laughs> that's funny. That is so pretty. Oh, love it. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a dark brown called Activist and just do a simple liner with the shadow. You could also so use a liquid liner, pencil. I find the easiest way to do eyeshadow is <laughs> eyeliner with eyeshadow. My words are not working. Oh, and also, if you don't have this palette, it smells like chocolate. It's driving me crazy. I want chocolate now. <laughs> yeah, it smells so good. Oh, I love that color. Love it. I was watching YouTube videos with my caregiver behind the camera <laughs> who shall not be named because she doesn't want to be on camera yet but I will get her at some point anyway I was showing her one of my favorite youtubers videos um, Nikki Tutorials. She's an amazing, amazing makeup artist, YouTuber um, from Norway. Or, yeah, I think it's Norway or somewhere in that area. Anyway, um, how I came across her years ago was through one of her videos that was getting shared on Facebook uh, called The Power of Makeup. If you haven't um, seen any of her videos, it is one that made her just, her YouTube channel just went nuts after. 
she is so talented. Oh, I forgot I was going to play with some of the liquid eyeshadows. Next video. Anyway, I want to do something similar to Nikki Tutorial's video at some point because it inspired me to. So, maybe in the next few weeks I'll get that done. That video will take me a lot longer than most though probably, but it's worth it. And if you have any video ideas, suggestions that you want to see me do, please leave it down in the comments and I will add it to my list. On to my favorite mascara at the moment, the e.l.f. Keep Your Curl. It's fairly new, a few months I think. I love the wand on this, it is so tiny. It catches all the little lashes. Another video idea coming out soon, hopefully. My mom actually requested, and yes, she does watch a lot of my videos, and so do other family members. But she asked for a video um, about how to get out the door fast with actually decent makeup on. So I'll be doing that soon. Now that I'm back, I am finally really inspired. And I've got so many new things that I want to play with and do different tutorials. But of course, I always love suggestions. Oh, and I have gotten a handful or so of new subscribers. Um, so my name is Emily. I've been doing YouTube for almost three years. I love it. I will leave a video down in the description box um, about me for anyone who wants to watch it. Neighbor kids are crying. So that's a pretty nice makeup eyeshadow look. Um, I'd say it's pretty quick. Um, I would definitely pair this with just something very neutral. So I'm going to pair it with, this is a Revlon Lip Butter. They were popular um, a couple years ago. And this one is number 818, um, just a neutral. It's pretty light, but it's so... So nourishing for the lips. My lips have been super dry because of the weather. Fall is officially here, which I have no problem with because I like the cooler weather, but we actually had to turn the heat on today. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, so that is the look that I've come up with, with using this new amazing palette from Tarte, the Tartlet in Bloom. Um, I did a haul, my last video, um, just of things that I've bought recently 
Um, yeah, I love that shimmer. They're so pretty. So pretty. I'm obsessed. And the fact that it smells like chocolate is even better. So, I will have more videos coming out soon. And give me suggestions on things that you'd like to see. Yeah, so please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I am fully back now. Hopefully having videos come out as often as I possibly can. At least one a week. Probably two now that I have someone else that helps me. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm totally inspired. So I can't wait to create more. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.